Okay, here we're looking at six momentary push buttons uh, connected uh, to six different pins on the Pi board. And you can see that each circuit has a resistor and a capacitor um, making an RC filter so as to debounce, hardware debounce the, the switch. Uh, also, we've added here a 47K pull-up resistor to the pull-up resistor, which is internal to the Pi board, which is 40K. So that's making the, uh, the pull-up around 22K rather than 40K. Uh, the problem we were having before was that uh, there was interference. If we, if we uh, use the interrupt on one of these, these are all pull-ups, and they could interrupt on one of the pins, the pin next to it would often uh, react. So this was this was in inter interference for because of proximity. All right, now uh, here's the code. It's really basically we just loop. We have a we have the interrupts which call this callback, which just sets the flag co corresponding to the interrupt line and increases it by one. That way, if it gets called several times, we don't have to we don't have to treat it process it several times. So we process here. If the flag, we go through all of our flags, if the flag is greater than zero, we, we do the flag for the interrupt line, and when we do the flag, that means just print a message and reset it to zero and increase the amount of interrupts we counted. Okay, so that should be pretty clear. We can start it now, and if we press the interrupts, we get, we get messages here. So there's switch zero, switch zero. As you can see, I'm continually pressing switch zero, and I'm never getting any other interrupts. I go to switch one, it works and works and works and works, and we never get an, an interrupt on any other channel. Here now we're on two, and it always works. Three, we're getting interrupts on only three. Previously, we would get interrupts on two or four when we push three. And the same with four, we're only getting interrupts on line four. This was quite an accomplishment and a result of some work done in collaboration with the Brussels Fab Lab and with the general MicroPython community as well. I got a lot of support on this and without their help, it probably never ever would have been solved. And just a little thing here, we now will do a control C, so a keyboard interrupt, and we see how that ends uh, gracefully. Thank you.